Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we're going to talk about inflation. I know there was some good news, some good reporting that came out about the economy today, but you still have inflation going on in the background. Um, and this is another example where the media in the United States is choosing to inflame rather than inform. When it gets discussed, people are pointing three places. They're pointing to food prices, gas prices, and the White House, as in what is President Biden going to do about this? Uh, it should be noted that global food prices are up. Inflation is a global issue right now. Domestic policy can only go so far in addressing some of it. Um, now, with gas prices, you have OPEC that is not upping production. They haven't pushed up production as fast as demand has climbed. Therefore, the price of uh, oil is higher. And they don't seem super willing to change course. So it's likely that gas prices will continue to climb. So what can we do about it? Well, we could stop using gas. And we could start there. The switch to renewable energy in the United States will eliminate this concern, which will help reduce spikes in inflation later. Prices won't go up for fuel because we won't be using it. Even if it goes up elsewhere in the world, we would be insulated. This is a change that is coming. It's not one of those things that can be put off. That they can, well, it can be put off, it can be delayed by large corporate interests, but it can't be stopped. How about that? If we switch to solar, wind power, any of the other forms, right, you're plugging your car in to, uh, to charge it. We're not reliant on oil. We're not reliant on something that is subject to supply and demand. So we're, we're using something that's everywhere. So that should reduce the cost of running your vehicle and at least make it more stable. This would be true of pretty much all energy forms as the transition continues. The infrastructure programs that are being pushed um, would, would speed this along. If you're concerned about the price at the pump, but you're reluctant to switch over to renewable energy, you are engaging in a self-defeating attitude. The solution is in front of you. Not just is it better for the environment, not just will it help reduce the effects of climate change, it's better for your pocket. As is typically the case, it turns out that it's cheaper to be a good person. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.